Now if you hit play, you can see that I have the, the full skin, the brown one. If I close and start again, I can equip the green one, and you can see that I get that one. If I close and start again, now the saved skin is the green one, so I get the green one. Perfect. Hi, I'm Ricky. Today we're making a skin shop in Unity. This is a very beginner friendly tutorial asked by a specific user, so hello. We started by making some very simple UI, and then we see how to make skins, how to equip them, how to save them, how to buy them, and so on. Alright, so let's start. I'm in an empty scene, I've only imported some sprites for the skins that we're going to use and TextMesh Pro. Alright, so that's the basis for our shop. That's just to give you an idea of how it will work. The only thing I should care about is this buy button that we're going to interact with to either buy or equip a skin and then the play button which we'll use to go into the next scene and see our skin being loaded so first thing first let's make our actual skin info and to handle the skin info let's make scriptable objects i've made a new script called skin info with the first s indicating that it's a scriptable object so now let's add the pattern for scriptable objects In here, let's make an enum for the IDs of our skins. And we also made an instance of that enum. Now let's also make the sprite of our actual skin and an int to tell the price. I'm using public variables, even though it's highly not advised to do so, especially when dealing with scriptable objects. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna make everything public for this video. All right, we're actually done with this script. So now we go back to Unity. And let's make a skin. So right click, create, create new skin. The enum is already right, brown. For the sprite, put the skin. And for the price, we say one. And now let's select our skin in shop. So the panel that holds everything in here. And let's make another new component called skin in shop. In here, we use the skin info to handle the UI and buy and keep the skin. So first, let's add a reference to a skin info. And let's also add a reference to the image of our panel. Then on awake, let's set the skin image sprite to the skin info sprite. This way you don't have to manually put all the skins in the shop. Now let's add a function to interact with the button. In here we want to check whether the skin has been bought already or not. And to do so, let's make a new boolean value. All right, let's see first how to buy our skin. To buy something, let's first make a very simple transaction system. So let's go back to Unity. I'm gonna make a new empty game object for manager, separated from the others. And in here, let's make a new component called player money. In here, let's put a value for the money and a Boolean function to remove money. We simply compare our money to the money to remove, and we remove from it if we can. And if we do so, we return true, saying that the transaction was successful. All right, back to skin and shop. Now we can call the player money script, and normally we would use a singleton because it's a single script, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use find object of type. And for the price, we take our skin info and we put the skin price. We use this function in an if statement, so we know if we have successfully bought the skin or not. And if you do buy it, we change is skin unlocked to true. Finally, we also want to save this value in a player pref, because if players bought the skin once, you don't want him to buy it twice, it has to close and restart the game. So let's call player prefs, and let's use set int. For the key, let's use the skin info's ID, and we set the value to one to indicate that it has been bought. Finally, let's also add a reference to the text of our button so you can change it to say a keep instead of buy. We can just take this and change it here. And because we want to check whether the skin has been unlocked or not also on awake, so whenever we start the game, 
Let's make a separate function just to check whether the skin has been unlocked. And in here, we call the player prefs and we ask for this same ID. If we have the player pref, we simply copy this action right here. So we can actually just do this and this and call it here. And finally, we also call it on awake. Let's go to Unity. Let's select our skin in shop and let's put the skin scripted object, the button text, and the skin image. And let's also select the skin button and let's add the event. Here, skin shop, skin shop, and button press. All right, hit play. You can see that the skin loads automatically. If we try to buy it, nothing happens because we don't have any money. If we increase it, we go to 56. I buy it, I go to 55, so you can see that I bought it. And it also shows the new text. If I try to press again, nothing happens because you can see that the skin has been unlocked. If I close and start again, you can see that it again loads the sprite, but this time it immediately saves a kip. And even if I have some money, if I press it, nothing happens. All right, so we have our basic buying system. All right, now in our manager, let's make another new component called skin manager. In here, let's add a reference to the currently equipped skin. And we're gonna want to read from this value from another scene. So let's also make this value static. Then let's make a function to load a skin. And as a parameter, we require a skin info. Then we simply put the equip skin to be equal to the skin info sprite. Now, if you go back to the skin in shop script, here we can call the skin manager. Great, now let's go back to Unity. And I'm gonna make a new empty scene. And while we're at it, let's also open the build settings and let's put in the scenes. I'm gonna rename the previous scene skin manager or skin shop, that's better. And make sure that the skin shop is first and the level is second. Close this, and now in here, I'm just simply gonna put a sprite indicating the player. I'm actually not gonna fill in the sprite source, only the sprite renderer. Now, if you go back to the skin shop, game manager, let's make a new component to change between scenes. I've called it scene functions. In here, let's make a function to load the next scene. This is a pattern that I usually use in my game. I'm simply calling the scene manager and then I'm loading the scene by getting the index of the current scene and adding to that a parameter that we require in the function. We do this because now if you go back to Unity, in the canvas we have our play button. We change the event to get the game manager, scene functions, change scene by adding index. And to load the next scene, we just say one. Now if we go back to the level, in here let's add a new empty game object. I've called it skin loader because in here we're just gonna make and add a new component called skin loader. In here we add a reference to the player by using a sprite renderer. And on awake, we take the sprite renderer sprite and we set it equal to the skin manager's equipped skin. Because a keep skin is a static value, we don't need a reference to the skin manager. And also we don't need to hold the skin manager script from one scene to the other. Static values get saved between scenes. Now back to Unity. Now in the skin loader, we just put the reference of the player. And if we go back to the skin shop, we can test it. This time, if I press a keep and I hit play, you can see that the sprite renderer loads the brown sprite. All right, so let's make other skins. In the assets, I'm simply gonna duplicate this and change the values. Make sure that the enum is equal to the sprite. Now in our canvas, in our skin in shop, we can just duplicate it and change the skin info. So in here, instead of brown, I put green, and here I put red. And if we hit play, you can see that now I've got the other two skins. I'm just gonna add a bit of money. Now I can buy it. If I close and start again, 
you see that it gets saved and I can equip this, hit play and I get the green skin. Gonna add some money again, gonna buy the red skin, equip it, hit play and now I add the red skin. All right, let me organize the assets real quick. Now we just need a way to have a default skin so that if we don't equip anything, we still have a sprite to load. And then we also want to save the previously equipped skin so that in the next playthrough, we immediately equip the skin automatically. So let's go in our skin manager and in here, let's add an array of all the skin infos. Then on awake, we want to search in our skins array and load the previously equipped skin. Now to know which skin we equipped the last, we're going to use a player breath. So in our equip skin, let's call it player breaths. And this time use set string to save the ID of the sprite that we used last time. Then on awake, we get that value. And it's searching our array for the skin with the same ID. And if we do find it, we simply equip the skin. We also want to make sure that the skin that we're looking for is not null. To avoid this, we can just put a default value for player preps. In here, we can just say this to use the brown skin as the default one. So now if we go back to Unity, select our skin manager, lock it down, and put all the skins in the array. Unlock it, and now if we hit play, we get all our skins in the shop, but if we look at the game manager, we also get all the skins here in our own array. You have to make sure that they are the same skins, although the order doesn't matter. Now if we hit play, you can see that I have the default skin, the brown one. If I close and start again, I can equip the green one, and you can see that I get that one. If I close and start again, now the saved skin is the green one, so I get the green one. Perfect. Alright, so that's it for this video, hope you learned something new. If you have any doubts about the code or any suggestion about the next topic, do tell me in the comments. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.